Yo, hi. Hello everybody and welcome back. I hope you're having a fantastic week. I have been called back to work this week, so I am back on the grind. Furlough is no more, um, which is exciting because it means that maybe, just maybe, we are just a smidgy bit closer to being allowed out of the house. So fingers crossed. And yeah, today I was thinking we would do a really grungy, dark sort of glam, going out makeup look, even just everyday makeup look. Who cares? Do what you want, live your best life. So yeah, that's the plan. I've got two big old spots on my face. They're big boys, so I'm just calming them down a little bit with an ice cube. I've just taken that ice cube off my face and now I think I might have frostbite on my chin, so let's just ignore that for, for a hot minute. Today we are doing some glam, dark, smoky eyes, maybe bringing some gold in there, but I'm just feeling grungy, dark, smoky, that sort of look. So I'm gonna start with my eyeballs and then we'll go in with our brows once once we've sorted that out. So for my vape, so for my base today, I'm actually going to start with a dark concealer rather than a light concealer to prep my eyes. Um, you can just use your everyday bog standard concealer, but this is the Revolution Conceal and Define it in C16. And I'm just going to pop that over my lid. The idea behind it is if you're doing a dark eye, why would you start with a white base? It's just making more work for yourself. Whereas at least like this, I've already got a dark brown base before I've even put a single shadow on there. Look at that. So I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and just blending that concealer all over my lid, a little bit up into the crease, but not taking it all the way up to that brow bone. So now it just looks like I've got a bit of grungy brown eyeshadow chucked on my eyelid. I look a little bit like I've got two black eyes at the moment, but that's fine. Then just to blend that concealer out, I'm going in with my Spectrum BO5 brush and just taking that all over the edges just smoothing it out to make sure it blends seamlessly into my skin. Now I am going to take my M M Mitchell and Beauty Bay palette again. I know I'm using this in like all of my videos, but I just, this palette, I just, I, I just am obsessed with it, all right? Don't, don't shout at me, don't tell me off. I just really like it. And I think it's got all the colours you could possibly need. So I'm actually going to take the colour Main and Monday, which are these two dark browns. One's a nice warm tone and then the other is a dark um, and cooler tone brown. Taking that same brush I used to blend in that concealer, I'm going to take a mix of them and just blend that really roughly into my crease. If you don't feel this is blending well enough, take a bit of your bronzer on your big fluffy brush and go over the edges. And then when you go in with all your skin products later on, it'll look all fine and dandy, I promise you. Just taking a... Then just taking a slightly more tapered brush, this is the Spectrum B07 brush. I'm gonna go in with the color Mafia in that palette, which is this dark black. This hair, I swear, my hair falls out. It's stuck to me, I just can't escape it. I'm just coating the brush tip, just the tip, in that black, and I'm just stamping that on the outer corner. Then going back in with the brush you use the browns on, I'm just blending that out. And I'm taking this into quite a round shape. A lot of times when you're going out, people take it into a nice point out here. I, when I'm going for a grungy look, prefer to keep it quite rounded rather than pointed, I don't know. I just prefer it for my eye shape. Today is such a grim day. The weather is disgusting. Now, because of that dark base, we're still pulling up a little bit of brown in this inner corner, which is exactly what I was looking for. It means that you can seamlessly blend from a lighter shade to a darker shade without actually doing that much work at all. I mean, that's taken me a few minutes. I've used the three brushes. You could even just do it with one if, if you could be bothered to fanny around enough. Um, yeah, I like it. I think it looks snazzy. I think it looks, you know, lovely, lovely jubbly all of that good business. Now we are going in with liner. You could either use um, obviously an eyeshadow, a gel liner, a liquid liner. I am gonna use a gel liner today just cause I find it easier. And I'm just gonna, just gonna draw quite a fat wing. We're going for a fat, not quite Emmy Winehouse, but like a fat squarish wing. I'm taking my Flower Music Long Wear Gel Liner. A tip for gel eyeliner is if you're really struggling to get the line straight, take some water and wet it. Um, I learned that from Burlesque actually, which is a fantastic film, but you'll never get a really, really straight line without wetting your brush first. Can I be asked to do that? No, but you might be. You might have a little glass of water that you wanna dip it in. That's fine, go for it, go ahead. I like to do this first to make sure, so when I'm looking forward, they're gonna be the same width, um, and then I will whack on a wing. Now for this look, I'm gonna make sure I'm looking down into my mirror. So I've got my mirror here. 
and I'm going to look down into it so I can make sure my wing is going to be in the right place because I don't want this wing to be too high up. I don't want to look like little, I've got little Nike ticks on the corner of my eye. I'm, that's not what I want. Please tell me you can ignore these big fat spots because they're really getting on my nerves. Really, they are. They truly, truly are. Then at taking the black I use to darken up our crease, I'm going to go over the liner and just smudge it a little bit, just make it a little bit, a little bit more Disney villain, a little bit more Maleficent. And to do that, I'm going to go with my Real Techniques eyebrow brush. I don't know how I ever use this as an eyebrow brush because it fills basically my whole eyebrow, but this is really good for setting in place liner because it's so chunky. So I'm just taking quite a lot of that black and setting the wing in place. Then taking the fluffy brush I used to add the black, I'm going to blend that over the wing so I can deepen the crease. And then taking loads of that warm brown I used earlier called Mane and taking that over the top. We don't want it too cool toned, we still want a bit of warmth in there. Now to blend that out, I'm actually going to take the colour Mixer, which is this sort of, oops, this sort of orangey, yellowy toned mustard colour. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my brush and take this over the edges just to bring that little bit of warmth back. And then just taking a damp flannel, I'm just going to wipe away any fallout I've got underneath my eyes. My next step is going to be taking my Maybelline Coal Liner and just lining all around my eyeball. So I'm taking this in the tight line and I'm taking that in my waterline as well. And this gives a much thinner almond shape to your eye rather than them looking so round, which mine normally do. Then because I'm using really big lashes, I'm not going to bother curling my eyelashes today. I'm just going to whack on a bit of black mascara. This is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit. So for my lashes today, I'm going to take my Faux 3 Dink Mink Lashes. At the moment, I'm really into watching house renovation videos. My friend Grace got me onto Three Birds Renovations, which is an Australian series on youtube of these three incredible ladies just making over houses and i'm just obsessed i have so many pins on my pinterest boards for my dream house that i'm never going to own i can't wait to pick out bathroom tiles and i'm sure some of you out there will be like oh my god yes bathroom oh fish scale bathroom tiles herringbone bathroom tiles oh that is that is what life that is what dreams are made of guys oh i've been watching the lizzie mcguire movie that was the other thing i watched I bloody love Hilary Duff. Hilary Duff was like my absolute icon. I'm going to watch the Cinderella movie later. That's what I'm going to do. Is that a Disney Channel original? Is that a Disney movie? I wonder if it is, you know. I didn't think about that. Some of my absolute Disney faves, for anyone who cares, which is probably very few of you, um, is Hercules, number one, the best movie ever. Then we have Beauty and the Beast. I once played Belle and I know I was only 16, but... Honestly, I think it might be the best week of my life to date. And then game plan with The Rock. I love The Rock. I know some people are in two minds about The Rock, but I bloody love that man. I think he's fantastic. I love Kevin Hart as well. Them and Jumanji together kill me. I don't know what it is. And in the second one with Danny Bloody DeVito, talk about a Disney masterpiece. So now I've got these really dark fluttery lashes on. You can see that just by taking dark colours in the outer corner and bringing it into the middle and bringing it into that inner corner with absolutely no product on there other than concealer, it just creates this gradient. It just makes my eyes look much more almond shaped, makes them look a lot more feline. Talking of feline, Joe Exotic. I cannot, I cannot believe that guy, the guy he was married to, what was his name? whatever his name was, how he had about two teeth the whole way through that series, and now he's got a full set of gnashes. I love those big false teeth, love them. Now, I really think brows step this up from uh, what I would wear as sort of like maybe every day to a going out look. If I just take a little bit of color through my brows, I would call this more an everyday look. And then the second I do a big fat scouse brow, that's when you know I'm going out hard. And when I say going out hard, I mean going out for about six drinks, getting a taxi home, having a hot water bottle and some nuggets in bed. For my brows, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in taupe. I swear, my brow hairs just are ridiculous. They look like 
Do they look like pubes? I'm just gonna take this in a little line underneath this front portion of my brow really lightly. I'm not going for a really, really harsh ness, ness, ness around the top and just down that edge. That'll do, that'll do, donkey, that'll do. But for my skin today, I'm just gonna take my Maybelline New York 24 hour super stay full coverage foundation from Maybelline. I already said that, I already said it's from Maybelline. This is in the color 10 Ivory. My fake tan has worn off. Tonight is a fake tan night. We are fake tanning our skin this evening and I can't bloody wait. But until then, I'm pale bitch, so 10 it is. I'm gonna take my Zoeva Silk Finish 112 brush and pop that all over my face. If you haven't tried this foundation, just bloody try it, all right? It's 9.99, it's fab, it's great. They do it in so many shades. I think it's a fantastic dupe for the Fenty foundation. Love it, absolutely love it. I've had so many of these. I think I've had about eight of these now. Why did they not have this when I was at school? We had Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. And now the kids these days have this. How unfair is that? They're the same price as well as the Matte Mousse was. And look at how this looks on my skin. And how Dream Matte Mousse looked. You all know it. Take that foundation onto your ears. I promise you, this is a good idea. Probably do it without having your um, earrings in, but either way, it makes you look like your ears are actually attached to your head. I always forget to fake tan my ears, and I always end up doing it the next day because I have these little pale ears. Okay, we're going in hard with the cream contour today. We're doing F12, taking that all the way around our external face rather than our internal face. And I'm just gonna blend that in with my foundation brush. When doing a look like this, I'll also just bounce that foundation brush over my eye, over my eyebrows. I do this because I think if you have really strong brows, really strong eyes and really strong lips and really strong contour, you look very, very made up. Now, I'm not denying the fact that I'm wearing a lot of makeup. I know that, but I just think when you take one item out of it all, so whether that be your brows or your lips, it starts to look a lot more natural. I add a little bit of my foundation stick in F13 for bronzing just here at the tops of my cheekbones, just using the exact same method. I'm bouncing that in. You can see this is a lot more red toned. So it just brings a bit more warmth to my face. Then my final step is adding a wee bit of concealer underneath these eyes and down that nose and a bit on my chin. And no, I'm not putting any on my forehead. I stopped myself. Okay, now we have got all of our cream products on our faces. We are going to set this like there is no tomorrow. I'm taking my lace setting powder from Revolution. I'm taking loads of this stuff. When you're going on a night out, you are dancing, you are living your best life, and I'm not risking for this to go anywhere. So first I'm baking underneath my eyes. I have washed my hands by the way, and I'm doing this just so I don't get it all over my trousers, which are black. Taking it all around my chin, my mouth, because I smile a lot. This is where my makeup moves first. Down the sides of my nose for when I'm sweating my tits off. And then any that is left, taking that all over the rest of my face. I'm not leaving it on for a long time. We're not here for a long time, we're just here for a good time, you know? For bronzer, I'm taking NARS Laguna bronzer. Well loved. It's got a bit of a shimmer through it. taking it lightly we're not going too ham cut to me in five seconds going ham then i'm taking my tiny little spectrum a12 brush just to contour my nose and i'm going to be drawing two lines coming into a little point and then making it look like i've got a little button nose and then i'm going to go in with a bigger brush and just blend out those edges then for my highlight, I'm going to go in with the Golden Goddess Revolution palette in this white gold with my Spectrum DO, B08, DO8, B08, base, oh, I've just realised the B stands for base. CO7 contour, 
and I'm just gonna intensify that here on the top of my cheekbones and blend it outwards. Then for my nose, I'm just gonna take a little bit right on the end of my nose and down that bridge. For my blusher, I'm gonna go back into the Mama Mitchell palette and take a little bit of Mixer and Mr. H. And I'm taking that just over my cheekbones and on my nose as well. I just find that touch of yellow. I just want an orange, I just want an orange blush. Can someone out there for my 21st birthday buy me a bright orange blush that I can just put all over my face? That would be fantastic. We're talking like a yellow orange. We're talking like like a blush that looks like this. This is what I want, this blush. Somebody make one, somebody show me one that exists, please. My lower lash line, I'm gonna take my coal liner and take that a bit heavier underneath my eye. Now I'm gonna just take a clean blending brush, this is the Spectrum A13. It's a really little snubby brush and I'm just gonna whack that underneath my eye and blend out those edges. And then I'm just gonna take those two dark browns, I use Main and Monday, and blend on top of them. I'm just gonna take that same highlight I used on my cheeks in my inner corner. And I'm gonna finish those eyes off with a little bit of bottom lash mascara. So my last step on my skin is going to be to add a few freckles. Now on a very high coverage, very glam, very grungy look like this, I like to add a few different freckles, not just my three, but a few more all over my face. So a good way to do freckles is by taking a pair of tweezers, popping them in a bit of brown eyeshadow and trying not to stab yourself pop them all over your skin or wherever it is you'd like them. Now, because you're using quite a lot of product, then when you go over with a bigger brush, you can blend them out and they'll look a lot more natural than they would just if you were to draw little dots all over your face. For my lips, we're going in with the Primark lip liner in the color Toffee. And I'm going big with my lips today. Today is a big lip day. Just in the center of that lip, I'm gonna take some of my concealer. And pat that in. Now on a night out, I will always wear a gloss because I think lipsticks wear a lot better, although they come off quicker. They also come off in one rather than coming off and cracking in different areas. So I'm gonna take the Revolution Lip Gloss. And this just allows that concealer and lip liner to blend together. High shine lip glosses are so underrated. I swear to God, I love a lip gloss. So I've just taken my parting slightly off center and I'm just pulling the back bit over to cover my crown. So it looks a bit more styled than if I just leave it. I also like to use a rat tail comb to brush my hair once it's styled because that way it doesn't go as frizzy as if I was to use a tangle teaser or um, a big fat brush. I'm going to put these clips back in so I look really bougie. So this is the end of my grungy, glam, going out style, winged, freckly makeup look. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've had a good day today. I hope the weather hasn't depressed you too much. And yes, thank you very, very much for watching. And make sure you like, subscribe, turn the bell on, all that good thing. Make sure you subscribe, please, please.